What can make a little seven-year-old girl famous? Shooting a movie, sports achievements, success in studies or creativity. You didn't guess. Once, Vera Kondakova received all union fame for kissing Stalin himself on the cheek, not according to protocol. For what merits did she receive such an honor? How was the further fate of Vera Kondakova? In the spring of 1952, newspapers and magazines in the USSR and abroad published photographs showing a little girl presenting a bouquet to Comrade Stalin during a May Day demonstration. This girl was a first grader, Vera Kondakova. That year, she graduated from the first grade in a regular Moscow school. The girl went to the City House of Pioneers, where she studied in a circle of artistic expression and in a song ensemble. This is a truly famous team, whose students performed before government meetings and eminent foreign guests. Vera was the smallest member of the ensemble. She was a first grader, but she already had a very well-delivered speech. She also had a purely Slavic appearance. This played its part. In the last days of April, schoolgirl Vera Kondakova was taken out of class for a photo shoot. The boy Yura rode with her. A few days later, the parents received a call and were told that Vera had to come to Red Square on April 30th to rehearse the parade. Vera came there with her mother, where the boy Yura was. They were supposed to open the May Day demonstration and congratulate Stalin on behalf of all Soviet children. On May 1st, early in the morning, turmoil reigned at the Kondakova's apartment. Vera put on a white blouse and sundress, which her mother, Maria Semyonova, had ironed in the evening. It remains for her to braid her pigtails and tie bows. On Red Square, Vera learned that she alone would be presenting flowers. Until now, no one knows why Yura was not taken. According to rumors, the reason was that his mother shared her joy with neighbors and acquaintances, and the representatives of the party did not like it. Vera was given a heavy bouquet of wildflowers and explained for the 100th time how and when she should go to the podium. She was warned not to stay long near the leader. Vera Kondikova still remembers how it was, despite the fact that more than 70 years have passed since the meeting with Stalin. She walked across the square with small steps and didn't keep up with the music. When Vera climbed the stairs, she was very afraid of falling. She held the heavy bouquet with both hands and it blocked her view. Vera immediately recognized Joseph Vissarionovich because he stepped forward a little. She ran up to the leader and said, Dear Comrade Stalin, this is for you from Soviet children. They brought the girl a chair and put her on it. When Vera looked at the parade from the podium, she saw people waving their hands at her. She felt very happy. She hugged and kissed the leader on the cheek in a fit of emotion, and he smiled. Bulganin and Malenkov talked to the girl for several minutes, and then Stalin removed her from her chair and wished her good grades. Then a soldier came up to Vera and led her to the mausoleum, which seemed to the girl very dark and scary. Vera was given a box of chocolates and taken to her mother, who was waiting for her at the Spatsky gate. By the way, the girl noticed that there was another box of chocolates. Apparently, it was intended for Yura, who was not destined to see Stalin up close. After the May Day demonstration in 1952, Vera Kondakova gained all union fame. A recording of the flower given to the leader was shown in theaters before each film. The photo of Vera with Stalin spread throughout all domestic and many foreign publications. The artist Fyodor Rishetnikova painted a portrait of a girl which is still kept in the Tretikova Gallery. The writer Sergei Mikhalkov dedicated a verse to Vera, which was published in Pioneerskaya Pravda. In 1953, Vera visited the Kremlin tree. When she performed as part of her native ensemble, the artistic director always took the girl to the stage to advise her team, and the audience ran closer to the stage to see the famous child. Vera performed on the radio, and she once starred in a movie. After school, Vera Kondakova graduated from the Institute of National Economy and got a job in the USSR Gosnab, where she worked for 40 years. In 1971, she got married, changed her last name, gave birth to a daughter, and is now raising her granddaughter. Vera Petrovna's family archive contains many newspaper clippings of those years and foreign magazines with her portrait on the cover. Photos with Stalin in heavy frames. 70 years ago, Vera Kondakova became part of Soviet history. This is how the fate of this brave girl, whom the country knew, developed. Share your opinions in the comments.
Rate this video and subscribe to our channel.